you guys, I'm sure you read the thumbnail. Uh, there's this guy named Nasdev32, that's his profile picture, on an app called Game Jolt you can get on your phone, laptop, PC, like anything. He's been making a lot of really great projects, but he doesn't get a lot of credit for it, as you can see. So I contacted Nasdev32, and uh, he said I could make this video, so... You know, I did a vote a little while ago asking how many of you guys had PSPs, some did, some didn't. Um, and for those who don't even have a PSP, I was just wondering if you guys could help out. In case you guys are wondering what this guy does that's so special, I'm just gonna let you watch the gameplay because he made all of this. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. You can now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success, and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day, and it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery Party Room and Dance Studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Bellora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Motion trigger, Circus Gallery vent. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's check the light again. Great 
job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. This video isn't sponsored by Game Jolt. This isn't the only thing he's done. He's made a lot more games, a lot more stuff like that. And for those of you who do have a PSP, I'm sure you guys are going to like his games. That's all for today's video. I know this video wasn't Transformers related, but thanks for sticking around to the end anyway.